A shortage of food or a surplus of snobbery? Everyone is aware that the pandemic has disrupted the production and distribution of many sought-after items. With that, here are 10 grocery store food shortages you need to know about right now. Just listen to me for one second. Baby formula. This flavor is baby formula. Some parents are unable to access or produce breast milk, some children have allergies, and some just flat out refuse to accept it. Stress, which none of us are strangers to since the onset of 2020, can affect the production of any hormone or bodily function. There are those who have brand new babies and are struggling with the stress of parenthood on top of the stress of a pandemic as well as whatever else is going on. There's definitely a reason people seek baby formula over natural breast milk sometimes. Baby formula is also great for kids who are transitioning from breast milk and moving to solid foods, as it can easily be added as a supplement for any meal and snack. Really? Any of it? The problem is that due to production issues, many shelves are empty of formula. There are recipes from decades ago that have recently resurfaced in lieu of the formula shortage, but these recipes can be toxic to ingest for both babies and their parents. Nobody wants to see any infant or child ill, so it's best to avoid some of these questionable home recipes. Unfortunately, that doesn't make the formula shortage any less stressful. Even now, as we've started to return to a somewhat normal version of life, it's still incredibly difficult to find sustainable and healthy baby formula for the people who need it. Lunchables Susie Reynolds always tried to steal my half-eaten Lunchables out of the trash. One of the most famous childhood meals is a Lunchable. Convenient, decently priced, and absolutely priceless in terms of nostalgia. Something extremely important for people to provide is food for their children. Families that are working on the front lines or from home, people who have no time to cook, and kids who can't yet make their own meals all need something simple and fast to keep their energy up. Lunchables is a fantastic way to get this done. Proteins, carbs, and sugars are all accounted for in a single Lunchable package. Whether it's the delicious chicken nuggets or the big box turkey and cheese sandwich, these pre-boxed lunches serve as a great snack or small meal for anyone with only a few minutes to spare. Quick, quick. In addition to convenience, these are pre-packaged, so it's a lot easier than worrying about cleaning germs off of individual items and sanitizing things well enough to cook with. We also want kids to be able to have some degree of comfort. Their whole world has shifted, and we are all looking for some sort of constant. With children as easily adaptable as they are, the simplest things can influence a change of perspective, no matter how small. Stuffed animals, a walk in the park, and Lunchables are all things that are associated with youth, and the resurfacing of this classic snack or small meal is a huge comfort to even the biggest of kids. So if you see Lunchables on the shelf, pick up a couple, because you may have a hard time finding them the next week. Juices and Fruit Cocktails Man, give me a fruit cocktail. Every parent and caretaker knows that sometimes the only way to get healthy foods into your kid is through juice and fruit juice cocktails. Sometimes kids have a big aversion to certain foods and textures. This goes double for fruits and veggies, as most of them are acquired tastes to begin with. A fruit or veggie juice is the easiest and sweetest way to give a picky child nutrients and vitamins, with the exception of the universal experience of taking Flintstones vitamins, that is. The added sugar the fun flavors, and the exceptional, usually bright, tongue-staining red colors are something that's magnetic for kids, and often their parents. Everybody wants it. A veggie cocktail that is packed with carrot, apple, pear, and other health food juices, but that tastes like fruit punch is definitely a win. There's no question as to why these juices are hard to find anywhere, especially when it's one of the only ways that is easy, cheap, and tasty to keep a family eating well, when there's also a shortage of fresh fruits and vegetables. Small and big kids alike are hoping for the return of many kinds of juices, as picky eaters know that some just are not the same as others. We're looking at you, apple juice. Cranberry is just the way to go. Bottled water. 
much shortage, not to mention... Uh... Doomsday preppers are always thirsty for more. More water, that is. Access to clean water is very important, and the purified water that stores sell in bulk has been a huge advantage to those who don't have that access. These stockpiles are useful to keep around the house in case the pipes burst or the water goes brown, so it's no wonder this necessity of life is missing from every grocery store and gas station around. Some people don't have access to clean water even before the pandemic. So the accessibility of water, especially purified bottles of water, is extremely important. Drink all of that. Drink more. However, if all of the stores and gas stations, convenience marts, and dollar stores can't keep it in stock, where would the people who need it get clean water? This is the main reason for the water bottle shortage. Every brand of purified water was cleared off the shelves in every grocery store, mart, and shop that sold it. Fortunately for those who don't have access to clean water, we've seen the return of a lot of these products lately. This doesn't make anyone feel better about the environmental impact of plastic water bottle production and the unnecessary waste associated with bottling labels. Disinfectant spray and wipes. Wipes, more wipes, some scented sprays. There's only one thing that can serve a person in a pandemic better than food and water, and that's cleaning supplies. Disinfectant sprays, bleach wipes, and other necessary household cleaning products were one of the first things to disappear from store shelves when the public began to realize just how drastic the pandemic was going to be. And because of this, people's cleaning habits definitely went up a grade or two. For example, people were even cleaning off off their prepackaged groceries at the beginning of the pandemic by using cleaning bleach wipes and other germ killers. Germs! Germs! Everywhere! Some even cleaned their house twice a day, wiping down every available surface. Additionally, the public was not the only consumer of these items. Disinfectants and many of the items on this list were and are utilized by those fighting the pandemic on the front lines. This includes EMTs, ambulance staff, medical practices, legal offices, shops that sell food, and places that take care of the vulnerable and elderly. These environments required constant cleaning, and medical establishments and nursing homes needed access to these items. The problem was that they could not always get them due to unnecessary hoarding by the public. Paper towels and paper goods. No paper towels. No amount of napkins, paper towels, and other paper goods that are used to clean up life's everyday messes could help tidy up the mess that this pandemic and its aftermath has left on our lives. Even if the initial wave of hoarding is over, there's still a struggle to find these in stores. There's more use for paper goods than people think, even in our current world. We may be conscious of our waste habits and doing our best to preserve the earth, but there are still times when disposable paper products are better suited for certain situations. Well, that was a unique situation. Things like biological messes, yes, including cat poop and baby spit up, are much better off being disposed of using something that you can throw away and not worry about rather than to try to wash. That way, you don't have to worry about mixing something messy with clothes or other rewashable items that you want to make sure are sanitary. However, when there's a shortage of cleaning supplies and paper goods, there's bound to be a bigger mess than spilled milk in the kitchen. We've got proof of that since March of 2020. Meat. Everybody wants some. Something that is not a need in every household, but is still getting really hard to find, is different types of meat, namely red meat and poultry. The meat processing and packing industries are struggling right now, which means production prices are skyrocketing. This is making meat more expensive. However, as a good source of protein, iron, and other necessary nutrients for the body, it's still very much sought after. Meat can be used in hundreds of recipes to make many different dishes. Meat is delicious. 
Kids, adults, the elderly, and the picky eaters among us are all often found to have a commonality in meat and protein-filled products. This can also be attributed to the fact that meat can be very easily preserved and can be kept in the freezer for a very long time. The consumption of meat and animal products dates back thousands of years. However, the system and way we obtain our meat has drastically changed, therefore leading to the huge uptick in prices, as well as the difficulty in accessing that meat. Pet Foods What's all this pet food for? It's no surprise that one of the most needed items that flew off the shelves was pet foods. Some people need to keep their furry friends fed, nourished, and flourishing. Not only do our pets need food to eat, pet owners need to keep their fur babies happy so they can be happy too. It's been proven that pets can significantly lower stress and anxiety. In times like a two-year-long pandemic with no true end in sight, we all need our furry friends. We need to make sure everyone is taken care of whether that be a human baby or our fur babies. It's called responsibility. Common household pets like dogs, cats, rodents, and reptiles all saw a huge shortage of pet food during the pandemic that is only now starting to be restored. It stems from the fact that we use foods that humans eat to create foods that our pets eat. Things like grains, proteins like chicken and pork, and vegetables are all very common ingredients in cat and dog kibble. Lizards and snakes have to eat preserved bugs, which can also be hard to find in the stores. Canned goods. You like canned food? No. Yeah, me neither. As many people know, canned foods are sometimes the only thing you can rely on to survive for an unknown amount of time. Things like canned meats and fish, vegetables and fruits are made to last for a long while, and this makes them perfect to have on hand if you're not sure when you'll be able to get to the grocery store. However, this also makes them the ideal food for hoarding and keeping in your basement for years and years. You gotta be ready for it. Yeah. This particular good, in all of its varieties, was cleared off the shelves in supermarkets and stores worldwide, making it impossible for people who desperately need these canned foods foods to get them. At the same time, canned goods often sit at the back of the shelf collecting dust for those who bulk buy and wipe store shelves clean. Toilet paper. Stop using paper towels for toilet paper. This next shortage item is obviously going to be something that everyone heard about, something that everyone uses, a necessity that is unparalleled to anything else on this list. Yes, we are 100% talking about the infamous toilet paper shortage of 2020. Not only has the pandemic caused a huge fear bomb about the apocalypse and stocking up in basements, but the natural disasters that are affecting paper production are big reasons why places like Walmart and Costco have to put limits on toilet paper and paper towel limits per customer. Party's over. While there is no longer such an extreme lack of these paper goods in the stores currently, with every new wave of the pandemic and the worsening economic issues that it's created or contributed to, it will be no surprise when toilet paper, and honestly most things on this list, continue to fluctuate between having a surplus and having a shortage of these products. Everyone on the planet has use for at least a few items on this list, and that isn't going to change anytime soon. Pandemic or not, global crisis, economic crashes, natural resource shortages or not, we all need to stay alive to make it through another day. The shortages of the items on this list no doubt make this harder, but as long as we continue helping one another and contributing to the greater good, even a global pandemic can't stop us. We're open 24-7. Just tap or click for another great video, hit that subscribe button, and ring that bell. And hey, leave us a comment.